Hey guys, so this is going to be my empties for both February and March. Um, I didn't really have too many empties in February, so I just rolled over to March. Um, so yeah, I have a ton of makeup, more makeup than I have like any other kind of products. So I'm going to start with that. That's going to be the bulk of this video, which I think is pretty exciting. So I'm just going to kind of start in the order I would apply them because um, that seems to make the most sense for me. So first I have the Mirad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Primer. It has an SPF of 30. It's a silicone based primer. Very pricey. $65. This is my second one of it. I always wait until I have a sale um, like a coupon at either Derm Store or Ulta. Um, but still, uh, you know, it's pricey. But it's a nice primer. Um, I like that it has SPF in it. I like that the SPF is clear. It doesn't leave like a white cast on your skin. It doesn't make me extra shiny or anything like that. And I do have oily skin. Um, but it's not like a mattifying primer by any means. So it's nice. Um, I don't know if I'd run out to go get it. But I know that I like it. And if I needed something, I know I could go to it. You know, like it's, it works. Okay, for foundation, <laughs> um, I have the Illuminari Mattifying Foundation. This I found out from Wife Life Rian. Um, She's awesome. Anyway, I have it in the shade Porcelain. I actually ended up using this to mix in with other foundations quite a bit. It's a little bit tacky on its own, um, but a little bit goes a very long way. So I would like to mix it in with like the Wet n Wild Coverall. Um, that was a nice combo, and then that would give me a little bit extra like mattifyingness and a little bit extra coverage to that foundation. But it is gone now. It is a natural um, mineral, so it has SPF 20 in it. It's oil free. They do have a moisturizing you know, um, formula and also an extra conce concealing formula. So go check them out. I got mine off of Derm Store. You can get a trial pack too, like a sample of it. So yeah, I liked it. Um, two concealers. I have the Pixi Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Brightening Peach. They do have a de uh, like a deeper shade. It's the Apricot one. Um, I did repurchase this. So I just got the Brightening Peach again because I am very fair. So, you know, this is what's going to work better for me. Um, but it's a really nice under eye corrector. I did try the Urban Decay under eye corrector and I didn't like it as much. I felt like it got really crepey um, underneath my eyes. This one did not. I just used a tiny bit just in the inner corner and I blend it out with my finger. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this and I definitely would recommend it. It's $12, but it lasts me like a good year and a half, two years. So, I mean, definitely worth it. And then I also have the NYX HD under eye concealer. Well, I guess it's not under eye concealer, but I use it under my eyes. I have the shade Fair. Again, I did repurchase this as well. Um, I really like it. It adds a nice brightening effect. I seriously do two like stamps of the doe foot wand, like da 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 da, and then I blend it out with my brush, and I love it. It works really well. It stays in place. Um, it can be a little bit drying I find if I add too much so I keep it very light but yeah I really enjoy this it's a nice brightening line or like effect and I do like that the shade selection um, is very like wide so in the summer you know when I get a little bit of color my you know foundations and concealers aren't matching I know I can always go back to this line which is super cheap and it has a you know a shade in my color so I like it I did repurchase Okay, now I have a powder. This is just a trial size of the Tarte Smooth Operator. This is my favorite powder. I have oily skin and this really does work for me. Um, I still could probably, I can blot like once a day and then be fine after that. But if I don't blot, like I can look a little bit shiny. But this is awesome. Um, I do prefer the loose version of it. I do have the press version right now, but I mean, it still is nice. I just prefer the loose. So yeah, this is nice. If you ever wanted to try it, they do have this little trial size, uh, you know, like at the little counter at the front of like Ulta or Sephora, the like walk of doom, you know, um, it's up there. So you could try it out if you want to, or like it's a good try, like travel little guy. All right. Now I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this is super nice. I use setting spray every single day. I actually use it twice in my makeup like application process. So I first use it after I apply my foundation, my concealer, if I'm going to do a cream blush, any cream product on my face. Um, as soon as that's done, I spray this all over and then I let it dry and then I powder. And I just find that this kind of locks all those layers in together and helps them stay. And then, you know, I wait till it's completely dry and then my powder goes on top and it just, you know, like really locks it in. And then I also use it at the end of my makeup. So after I've done, you know, the rest of my face, my blush, bronzer, contour, all that good stuff. And then I spray this all over to make sure nothing looks too powdery and just to kind of lock it all in again. 
Um, I do enjoy this. I would recommend if you like this to wait until they have the two pack. Um, it's usually around the VIB sale time. And then if it is during the VIB sale, you get the two pack, which one of these is $30. You can get two for like 34, I think. And then you have the 20% off. So it's even cheaper. So that's the way to do it. I've done that in the past where I've done that. And I bought, you know, I got the two pack and it lasts me all year. And that's how I would recommend to do it. I also really like this Scandinavia, um, setting spray because it's for oily skin. I think it works just a little bit better, um, but I still really do like the all-nighter. Would recommend. Um, okay, I have a mascara. This is like seen better days, but this is the Essence Lash Princess, and this is the volumizing one. They do have the false lash effect wand as well. I like them both. Um, I do prefer the false lash effect just a little bit better, and here's why. is because this curved wand, which I know some people absolutely love curved wands, I like straight wands because this was hard for me to grip my lashes. Like I really had to work um, to make sure I got all my lashes, whereas just a straight wand is a lot easier for me to use personally. Um, but it is a really nice mascara. The formula is awesome. It really does wear nicely on your lashes. Um, it doesn't flake on me. It doesn't smudge. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. It's super cheap. It's You can find it at Ulta. Um, Essence is a great cruelty-free, you know, cheap brand to look at so I really enjoy it um yeah and I'm happy with it okay I have two brow products so the first one I'm going to talk about is the Anastasia dip brow and this is in the shade blonde and I've had this like ever since it first came out so like probably like close to three years now which is not recommended <laughs> I've revived this thing so many times and I can revive it um pretty well I usually either put it in the microwave to like melt it all down or I will add like a drop of saline solution a contact solution and mix it around and it it's creamy again it works wonderful um this color in blonde i think is a really nice match for me i'm actually using the nyx tame and frame right now which is fine but i do prefer this um and yeah this is just too gummy to use anymore and it was about time so you know but i do want to buy this again i do really really like it and then i also finished up the nyx micro brow pencil i had this like in my stash so i just decided to finish it up I have it in the shade taupe. Um, it's fine. I'm just definitely more of a pomade person than a pencil person, but I do want to try like either the hourglass pencil or the Anastasia one that's kind of like a triangle tip. I feel like that would be a lot easier because this fine one, I feel like I can just go crazy drawing in my eyebrows and then they just get so thick and like it's just like I can go overboard, you know? And so I feel like if I had one of like with a wider tip I, it would be a lot easier and a lot quicker so I might try that out um, and see how I like it otherwise I probably will just go back to the dip brow because I really like it okay I have three lip products so the first one is a lip balm this is the kiss my face SPF 30 sport treatment um, lip balm I love this I got it off of Vitacost last summer I got it because it had SPF 30 in it I will be repurchasing it it's my favorite lip balm it has a mint you know scent to it which is awesome I really like a minty lip balm and then also it's a very um thin so you can just kind of like stamp it on your lips and like it's covered it's not like a thicker waxier balm where you have to like really rub on your lips so I like that it's just kind of like a little you know dabbing in your your set because if you swipe this it's going to be just like gloopy so really like it it's awesome I like the orange packaging it's a lot easier for me to find for some reason like in my backpack or in my purse or anything like that so yeah okay I have a lipstick this is the Too Faced Spice Spice Baby lipstick I finally finished this up I've been working on it for the fat like the past couple months um it's just this kind of like nude like rosy nude brown shade I really like this formula the La Creme lipsticks for winter they feel like lip balms they're very moisturizing the color doesn't like like you know sit on your lips for all day you know like a matte would but um it feels like a lip balm going on so it was really easy for me to use in the winter because i just felt like i was applying lip balm not like a lipstick you know so it was nice um i'm glad i used it up though you know it was about time and then the last makeup item is the bare minerals lip gloss and this is a mini in the shade sugar i really liked this i got it as a little dual pack um this was in my car so that is a swatch of it there. Very similar color. It's a little bit more pink, but I really like the formula of this. I also really like the wand. Um, it's just kind of more flat. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. It feels awesome on the lips. Um, it, it, like, 
hugs your lips for a long time like it doesn't just disappear it stays there so I really enjoyed this I definitely would think about repurchasing a full size of the lip gloss um like I said this is just a mini but yeah I really enjoyed this so yeah those are all the makeup products I can't believe I went through that many makeup products it's like crazy to me um yeah so let's move on to the other products I don't have too many so this should go pretty quick things I do have two like tools I guess so that'll be my little transition um so first I have a beauty blender this is just the original pink one. Um, this has been around in my life for quite a long time. Um, I kind of like go in and out of whether I prefer a brush or a beauty blender, um, but I've been on a beauty blender kick lately. I am trying out the Real Techniques one right now. I don't know, I still kind of think that I like the beauty blender better, but I'm gonna give this like another month of try and then if I don't like it, I'll go with this. Or wait, the VIB sale's coming up. Maybe I'll pick one up then because there's a discount. But anyway, um, yeah, really, really enjoy this. I like the shape of it because I like to kind of like twist my foundation into my skin. I feel like it covers more pores that way. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. One of my favorites. I probably will be repurchasing. The other one is a brush. This is the e.l.f. Small Stipple brush and it broke. Well, it didn't break, but the glue came undone and, um, I have been known to re-glue my brushes quite a bit just because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it other than the glue. So if you just put some super glue around here and just push it on and hold it for like 30 seconds, it's usually good to go. Um, but I do have a new one, a newer one of this. So I'm just going to let this one go. I love this brush though. Like I highly recommend you get it. It's $3. Um, it's such a nice brush. I use it for my under eye concealer. You can use it for highlighter. You can use it for cream blush. You can use this for anything. It's a great, great brush. I also like to use it to just kind of blend like around my nose because you know, sometimes your foundation gathers in those areas or like if you have lines here, whatever. This is just an awesome brush. You really need to go get it. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, and I've had this one for years and years and years and years and years, like probably close to four years. So for it to last that long and just, you know, break now that I feel like that's pretty good. So yeah. Okay. Um, I have some shower things. I have a shampoo. This is from Desert Essence. It's the Island Mango Enriching Shampoo. I love this line. Um, I get it from Vitacost. Uh, yeah, they're like $5 a tube ish. Um, but I usually wait until I have a coupon. Uh, so yeah, these are awesome. They are cruelty free. They are, let me see, they're vegan, gluten free, no parabens, sulfates, phthalates, artificial fragrances or colors, no silicones, EDTA, glycol or petroleum based ingredients. And it's a biodegradable formula. So I think that's really awesome. It works well in my hair. Um, if you have like drier hair, I definitely recommend this. I you do do a double shampoo when I wash my hair. Um, cause I don't wash my hair that often, maybe like once or twice a week. So I do double shampoo my hair to make sure that my scalp really is clean and all the product like dry shampoo and whatnot is off of it. Um, and this night works nice. As long as you have enough like water in your hair, it lathers nicely. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. It smells awesome. Pick it up. I like that it's in the squeezy tube too. It's just so easy to use. Ugh, I love that stuff. Okay, I have a body wash, a travel size and the matching lotion. So I brought these home with me. I went home over my spring break, which is the first week of March, and I finished these guys up. Um, so this is the Savannah Bee Honey Body Wash and Lotion, and it's the Blackberry Rose. Now, I got these in a little set um, for my birthday or Christmas, um, one of the two like a year ago. Like not this past Christmas, the one before that. So these are more natural products. So I think that they were starting to turn because the scent was a little bit off on them. So I really wanted to make sure I used them up and I did. So I'm super glad. Um, but yeah, I I mean, they were fine. Nothing bad to say about them. I mean, it didn't, the body wash didn't leave me feeling itchy. The lotion didn't leave a greasy film or anything. They were fine. I don't even know where you can get this. So don't ask me. Um, I think that they might be cruelty free. I actually don't know. I just had them so I was going to use them, you know? Okay. I have a makeup remover guy. This is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Towelettes. The pineapple enzyme whatever ones. I love these. 
These are my favorite in my go-to makeup remover wipes. Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't use the actual wipe, but when I travel, these are awesome, and they're also nice to just have for the back of your hands or whatever. Um, I just like to have these around. They're also nice. I do usually keep the pack next to my bed on my bedside table in case if, you know, I'm out and I come home and I don't want to take off makeup. At least I have this next to my bed and I can grab like a couple of them, like wipe off my face, get my eye makeup off, and at least the makeup's off my skin so my skin can breathe. Um, so yeah, lazy girl tip. If if you're like me and sometimes you don't want to wash your face, just keep these next to your bed. You don't even have to get out of bed then. It's amazing, so there's that. Okay, and the last thing I have is a toothpaste. This is my favorite um, brand. I like Sensodyne. This is the Pro Enamel. I usually don't buy Pro Enamel. Um, I just get the regular Sensodyne. But I have very, very sensitive teeth. Um, going to the dentist just to get them cleaned is like the mo one of the most painful things I can imagine. And I just hate teeth, so it's not a fun experience. But um, I switched to Sensodyne a few years ago, and I've had really good luck. I haven't had a cavity since. Um, not that I had a ton of cavities beforehand, but you know what I mean. Um, this is the gentle whitening one. I just feel like I had a weird taste that I couldn't get over. So, um, I went back to just the regular Sensodyne. Um, I might try a different line of the Pro Enamel because I know what's good for you. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this line of toothpaste and I am loyal to it. I know it's not a cruelty-free brand, but it's for my health. And I made the decision that if it's for something for my health, I'm going to, you know, stick to it like this. Really, it makes a big difference in my life. And it's one product in my life, you know. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, my dentist really, you know, wants me to stick to it too. So, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Those are my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm super proud of myself for finishing that much makeup off. Yay. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. So if you've been finishing off a ton of stuff or if you have an empties video or an Instagram post or whatever, let me know. I'd love to check it out. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. So subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.